Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel today and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be going over the details, the numbers, the raw data of the patch that happened uh, yesterday when you guys will be seeing this the next day. So, um, very important to shout out all the people behind this work. Of course, this was posted by um, user slash Nigeru R. Uh, on Reddit, so shout out to them. And they also, you know, credit Cerebi, uh, UniteDB.com, as well as the original patch notes here. So, again, all these people, including the people who are behind the math cord, which is just like a formula driven analytical discord for Pokemon Unite, um, where uh, UniteDB gets a lot of its like information behind the different scaling for different uh, moves and the Pokemon in this game. So very thorough detail is available there. But in general, I think this uh, info summarized really well on this uh, Reddit post by Nigeru is really going to help you guys get the gist of what happened in this patch. So let's just hop right into it. Going to try and make this very quick and informative for you guys. Uh, so let's start with Krussell. Stealth Rock, of course, cooldown reduced. Um, so that cooldown was actually reduced by two seconds. Um, and when they say they increased the damage on Stealth Rock, they were not joking. Uh, I mean, look at the difference. It went from 3.8K at level 15 to 6.2K. That is a huge damage increase. <clears throat> of course, this is at level 15, so this scaling won't be seen until that level, but it gives you a general idea that this was almost increased by like, I don't know, what is that, like 80%? Very, very strong. So Rock Tomb damage also increased, you know, not by much, but just a decent amount. Uh, so it should hit a little bit harder, but not too much to make a huge difference, I would say. So for Garchomp, the uh, movement speed increase, very welcome. Like I said in the video where I talked about the patch notes announcement, I'm really happy to see this happen. I think Garchomp just needs to be able to stick to people better. And without more movement speed, it's just impossible to do that. So um, the 100 boost of movement speed, really solid here. Hopefully it helps out. Not sure how much it's really going to help, but we'll just see. Um, Bulldoze is going to give Gibble a lot of extra damage, which is really going to be nice. Um, that's a pretty big increase, of course. And then Dragon Rush actually gets a two second cooldown reduction. So I would say for sure now, especially with like all the neat different things and crazy stuff you can do with Dragon Rush, um, definitely take Dragon Rush over Dig now for your mobility move. So moving on to Slowbro here. Slowbro, um, and these are this is kind of nuanced here. So this is not in seconds in terms of the stun link. This is actually recorded in frames. So the first stun is a knockup for 36 frames. The next stun is a knockup for 36 frames. And the uh, last of the third stuns of the surf is a knockup for 44 frames. This is what it used to be. So now all of those frames have been, I mean, these two were cut in half and this one was reduced by a decent amount as well. So basically you are knocked up a lot, uh, like for a lot less time than you were uh, previously when you're hit by slow bro surf. So this will allow you to, for example, eject button out and maybe even be able to use a mobility skill such as smoke screen, double team on Greninja, stuff like that to get out or like a faint on Cinderace. Um, this will prevent you from literally being stun locked by Slowbro with the surf. There's going to be like a few frames of leeway now for you to be able to use a move or something. So, um, moving on, Scald got a pretty decent damage increase. It's not huge, but uh, this is, of course, the damage after burn. The raw damage is 1742. Um, so, you know, this is going to be a decent increase. I actually played against a player earlier today who was running Scald. It didn't feel very impactful. Obviously, it hits very hard, but in terms of like switching it off for Surf, I, I would say for Slowbro, it's just not worth it. Slow, uh, surf is just still such a good skill. Anyway, um, <clears throat> moving on to Snorlax, um, the nerfs were not nearly as bad as we actually expected them to be. So, Heavy Slam barely decreased in terms of damage. It goes from 1806 to 1700 at level 15, of course. So, that's really still solid. Um, Snorlax is still going to be great for last hitting Dreadnought, for last hitting Zapdos. It's not going to hit, you know, that quite extra, like, 5% or so of damage, but that's honestly okay. Um, I think this is fine. I'd like to see more balance changes like this as opposed to, you know, the ones like uh, Stealth Rock getting almost 80% increase or so here. You know, I think that's a little <laughs> little bit extreme, a little risky for sure. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to see. So, 
Um, that's Heavy Slam for block on Snorlax. You are actually going to see uh, the stun decreased every time you get hit by the shield that Snorlax holds in front of it. That goes from a one second stun to a 0.75 second stun. So again, similar to Surf here, this is going to allow you to use a mobility move, uh, just walk out of the block because the stun is shorter now. So um, I think if you have X speed, you'll still be able to kind of do the same sort of thing that you used to be able to do with block on Snorlax. But now that the stun is just 0.25 seconds shorter, I think it will be a little bit easier to get out. But block is still very potent. You can still stun people against the wall and stuff like that. It's very strong. So um, the flail, the move upgrade here, basically what we can tell from it is that the move speed bonus has uh, very much increased. So when you have the upgraded version, uh, or sorry, just in general, the, uh, the now flail is going to give you increased movement speed. Um, and what I'm really happy to see in terms of the unite move here, and I'm not sure if it was honestly enough, but, uh, cause I played against it today and it still felt like Snorlax healed to full health. But previously, uh, the unite move that Snorlax has power nap allowed it to recover 90% of its max HP over these nine little pulses that happen during the unite move. However, now it's only 63% of the max HP. <laughs> so uh, each little heal pulse was was uh, tuned down from 10% to uh, 7%. Sorry, you can see it there. Um, okay, so that's about Snorlax. Uh, pretty mild nerfs, honestly. Not really bad at all. Okay, so for Greninja, very excited about this. Um, as I mentioned in my video, if they reduce it to six seconds, it'll be good. If they reduce it by two seconds, this will be broken. And it turns out it is. They also increase the damage by an absurd amount. So Water Shuriken is hitting like a truck now on Greninja. I will have a video out tomorrow kind of showcasing my crazy Water Shuriken game. Uh, just hitting so much damage. The ability to outplay with Water Shuriken over Surf is just, it's making it so fun to play right now. I still think Surf is great. Uh, it's obviously one of the best skills for last hitting and just being able to hit those pentakills very easily but water shuriken is just it's it's very unique uh go check out my stream if you haven't i'm playing a lot of water shuriken there right now uh with this new patch so um in terms of the smoke screen nerfs uh what from what we can tell the blind duration on enemy pokemon has been uh lessened by a little bit but we can't exactly tell by how much but it seems to be lessened a enough for it to be noticeable and i've kind of noticed that too playing against greninja's going smoke screen um, and of course, the cooldown was increased from 11 seconds to 13 seconds. So you can only use smoke screen every 13 seconds, which is a pretty big nerf, honestly. Um, smoke screen is still really good, but with double team having its cooldown reduced by two seconds, you're looking at a nine second mobility cooldown versus a 13 second mobility cooldown. Um, and you can do some really neat things with double team. While I still think smoke screen is probably the better move, even with the long cooldown, um, Double Team actually has invincibility frames similar to Faint. So if you haven't seen my uh, complete guide to Greninja that's on my channel, it's on the front page, just like click on my channel and it'll it'll be right there. Um, there are There is like very small frames that you can use Double Team to just completely negate damage, like big Unite moves, um, big stuns, stuff like that. So you definitely wanna try out Double Team if you haven't already. Um, it is very difficult to line up those uh, invincibility frames and make sure you're actually consistently being able to use them. But even so, a 9 second mobility cooldown on a Pokemon like Greninja, uh, especially if you're using Water Shuriken, is not bad. I've been trying out Double Team Water Shuriken on my stream and it's uh, it's really been going pretty well. Um, again, I still think Smokescreen is the better move just because of the crazy attack boost that you get after you upgrade it to Smokescreen Plus, but you know. It's, it's really good. And of course, the blind from Smokescreen is still really good. So moving on to the battle items, this stuff is really interesting. Um, of course, we don't really know numbers behind how much uh, Fluffy Tail's buff has been affected. However, I, I did play against a few people who were running Fluffy Tail today, and holy cow, it, they were shredding Dreadnought, shredding Zapdos. It was actually crazy. So uh, definitely look into that. Um, in terms of the eject button nerf, it was, as I predicted, up to 70 seconds. I think this is fair. Like, this is more of a healthy cooldown for a battle item like eject button. And for Goal Getter, uh, the cooldown was decreased from 120 seconds to 90 seconds. 
Uh, and lastly, in terms of the battle item buffs, this is one I'm actually really excited about. X attack used to only apply for four seconds, which is why nobody ever ran it. It's just, it really wasn't that good. And it only gave you a plus 15% buff to your attack and special attack. However, now it's a 20% buff to your attack and special attack, and it lasts for seven whole seconds. So essentially this can be like, this kind of acts as like an extra level. If you're level five using X, X attack, you're going to be hitting damage as if you're level six. So this can really come in handy if you know you don't want to go eject button for some reason. I still think eject button is really, really strong um, and probably recommended for almost all Pokemon, but X attack is kind of viable now. So definitely try it out if you haven't. I definitely look forward to trying this out over the coming days because um, I, I think it has mad potential actually. Okay, so in terms of just the small bug fixes here, uh, we got Slowbro, uh, the move Scald. There was a bug where uh, Oblivious was not activated due to the steam damage um, that was applied. So I'm not actually sure what the Oblivious status is, quite frankly, but that's a bug, I guess. Um, Wigglytuff uh, fixed a bug where the Unite move gauge could not be actively stored after use. Again, I this is not clear by the language. This is the language they used in the patch notes. Um, but what we do know actually is that Wigglytuff is now getting Unite Move Charge when it uh, kills enemy Pokemon, or wild Pokemon rather. So that's very exciting for Wigglytuff players. Again, a very big buff to Wigglytuff. <laughs> Already a super strong Pokemon. Um, this is a big nerf to Cinderace actually. So um, again, I talked about this in the previous video. If you guys didn't know, you can actually hold a boosted auto attack on Cinderace. If you, uh, if you kill something with Blaze Kick or Pyro Ball, you actually, or just use Faint, you perpetually hold a boosted auto attack on Cinderace, and this would allow you to have increased movement speed on Cinderace. So it let you get around the map faster. This is one of the reasons why Cinderace jungle was so strong is just because it was able to rotate so quickly. Um, but that's that's gone now. So that's a bit unfortunate for Cinderace players. I kind of liked that little trick, um, but yeah, sad to see that go. So for Lola Ninetales, this is a big nerf as well. So um, this, uh, it used to basically be able to spot enemies in the grass, in the hidden bush, uh, that were invisible as well, like Greninja, if he's stealth, would still get hit by uh, a Lola Ninetales passive snow warning, or sorry, the ability snow warning, but now it doesn't work. Um, and again, another issue with snow warning was that when it was in Aurora Veil, this would actually activate more often. So now that doesn't happen. So in general, pretty big nerf against Alola Ninetales. And the issue that a lot of people are bringing up is that you still can't hide in the grass as Alola Ninetales. Like you're the only Pokemon in the game that if somebody walks by you, your passive will activate and your position is given away, right? So that's a bit unfortunate that it's it doesn't work the other way around anymore, but it's still, it still exposes you while you're hiding in the grass, but it doesn't expose Pokemon that are walking by you. Uh, or sorry, that it doesn't expose Pokemon that are hiding from you in the grass. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I guess it was a bug. They say it's a bug. I think it was probably more of a feature, but that's unfortunate to see that go for a lot of Ninetales players. Um, and lastly, we got some Gardevoir things and Cramorant things. Uh, for Gardevoir, the boosted attack was not actually lowering Pokemon's special defense, as it said it did. Um, so now that's working. And Psychic actually, uh, add that this was this was a change. This was not a bug fix. Uh, add an effect to lower the opponent's special defense when hit. So this is a little bit of buff to Psychic, but I still don't think anyone will really go Psychic because Moonblast is just a free stun and it's on such a low cooldown. It's just it's just a better option. So last but certainly not least, we got Cramorant. Um, Hurricane. They fixed a bug that prevented damage being dealt to some wild Pokemon when they're hit with Hurricane. So. Um, there was a bug sometimes where Cramorant just wasn't able to do damage to some wild Pokemon, uh, with the whole hurricane interaction, not exactly sure about it, but I do remember seeing a clip of it one time. So that is fixed now. So really excited about that. Anyway, um, so that's about going to do it for this video. Uh, those are kind of the patch notes. The big changes are of course the battle items, uh, situation, eject button is changed. Uh, goal getter is changed. X attack is changed. So definitely note these. Um, I still don't think goal getter is worth using, but you know, that's up to you. Uh, the Greninja buffs are actually massive. Water Shuriken is hitting like a truck now. Snorlax, not as nerfed as we originally thought. Slowbro, not a big deal on the nerf. Uh, Garchomp, pretty decent buff, but probably still not enough to make it amazing, but maybe a little more viable than it used to be. Similar to how you can kind of play Charizard now, but it's still not great. Um, and then Crustle, of course, big damage on Stealth Rock, but nothing else really. So 
that is going to do it for this uh, post patch analysis video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we, I guess 15 minutes, that's short enough. Uh, try to go through things as fast as I could, but I want to explain these uh, situations to you guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more like this in the future for future patches, uh, the best way to let me know is like the video and leave a comment down below that you'd like to see this again in the future. And let me know what other ideas for videos you guys would like me to do and stuff like that. I'm totally open to your suggestions. So uh, anyway, guys, follow me on Twitter. That's the best place to get Unite news and different stuff like that. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.